Good morning. Welcome back to a trucking journey. Uh, it is super early Wednesday morning. And we are waiting for the truck to warm up. And waiting for my 10 hour break to be up so I can leave here and head to the north side to the Chep Pallet Warehouse. Um, let's take a look around here. Convoy really pissed me off this morning. They sent me a text message at 3.30 in the morning saying that the system wasn't showing an ETA for my pickup. I'm like, that's because I'm fucking sleeping. So then they sent me another text message at like 5.15. This time I could tell it was an actual person and not the computer generated text messages that they send all the time. So I replied, do not ever fucking text me at 3.30 in the morning three and a half hours before my appointment time and ask me when I'm going to be there. You know I'm on my 10 hour break. I'm, so, I'm asleep. That is unsafe and it's fucking ridiculous. And I haven't heard back from them since so we'll see what happens. But uh, Last night on the way home I was stopped at AutoZone because I don't need diesel, but my, D, my DEF tank is getting a little low, so I figured I'd pick up a jug of DEF. And I figured since I'm going to do this with the jug instead of at the pump, at pilot, like I usually do, I would treat my girl and get her the good stuff. Got the platinum. Supposedly it's better than the other stuff. Than the basic DEF, so we'll see. I doubt it. it it's probably a ripoff, but I figured I would try it. You definitely want to get your gloves because you don't want this cow piss all over your hands. Let's see, how do we do this? It's been a while since I've used one of these jugs. makes a fun noise. See how this goes. Trying to read all the stuff it says that makes it better than the normal death. Sounds like a bunch of malarkey to me, but if it truly is better than the basic, yeah, every once in a while I might throw a jug of it in there. Treat the old girl right, she'll treat you right. 
That's my motto. Just wish these jugs didn't take so long to empty. It looks like the sun's starting to come up. I think we got it, boys. Gotta shake the tip a little. You fellas know what I'm talking about. Alrighty. I'm gonna throw this in the back of my truck. Can't tell if there's any more in there. Yeah, there is. Dang it. This stuff was expensive. I'm not about to waste any of it. That's it. That's all there is to it. I'm going to throw this in the back of my truck so it doesn't take up space in my real in my big truck. And that's about it for that. You know, I was thinking the other night, all these emissions trucks have serious reliability issues with the after treatment emission systems. And since the government is mandating this bullshit, I think the government should, should uh, supply a warranty for that stuff. Since they're forcing these companies to put this shit on the engine. Hey, taxpayers, fund a warranty for it. I think it's only fair. Makes sense. It'll never happen because it makes sense, but that's my two cents on it. But truck should be just about warmed up and I'm gonna head on over to the north side and pick up my load of pallets so I'll check in with y'all here in a little bit Welcome back. Made it to the watermelon farm. It's a nice day, so I'm gonna get out and walk around. Oh. Really glad I didn't just wash my truck or I'd be kind of mad. Cause it would have been dirty. The road to get here was pretty fun. 
definitely should not have a truck on it. There was like a hairpin turn around a bunch of trees. There was a dirt road section of it. And down here at the watermelon farm. It is a nice day though. There's like barely a cloud in the sky. <sighs> so I got, I won two bids for tomorrow. And uh, I guess they finally got smart and stopped posting drop and hook loads to Alachua. Now they're just two drop loads. So it's uh, take a loaded trailer down there, drop it, bobtail back. So <clears throat> both of them are going to Walmart and I had bid like $250 on each of them. And so when I won the uh, first one, I, um, I figured they were going to approve both of them. So before they could approve the second one, because I'm smart. I went in and raised my bid to $300. So, because I knew if they approved the 250, and obviously that, you know, probably not a lot of people bidding on, the, on those loads. So I kind of took a gamble, but like more of an educated guess and went ahead and upped my bid to $300 on the second one. And about five minutes later, they approved it. So a little sneaky way to make an extra 50 bucks, you know, you got to outsmart these brokers. I don't feel bad since they texted me at 3.30 this morning to ask me if I was going to be on time for my 7.30 pickup. Assholes. I guess they don't understand when we're on our 10 hour break, we need to get our sleep. We don't need to be bothered three and a half hours, four hours before our pickup time asking us what our ETA is. That's just asinine. <sighs> so he hasn't started unloading me yet. He's unloading the guy next to me there. So I'm next. I would say I'll probably be out, of, be out of here in about 45 minutes or so, probably. <clears throat> There's all the bins of watermelons. that's about it gave y'all a little behind the scenes footage of a watermelon farm loading dock <laughs> i'll uh, catch up with y'all later when i'm done welcome back just pulled into the yard to park the truck for the night Stopped and uh, got some fuel and some def at the pilot. Washed my windows, all that good stuff. Because I got to start my day at like 2 a.m. tomorrow. 
and I'm not gonna feel like messing with that at 2 a.m. So got it done now. So it's one less thing I have to do tomorrow. I probably had enough fuel to do my two Walmart loads tomorrow because I'm just dropping a load down there and bobtailing back. So I'm not gonna be using hardly any fuel compared to what I usually do. Um, but just to be safe, I just went ahead and like just got like a hundred dollars because my fuel card resets tonight at midnight and I had already had one fill up on this week's payment so didn't want to go ahead and fill it up and end up having to give a thousand dollars to the fuel card company you know so kind of spread it out and then tomorrow once my fuel card resets for the week I'll probably go ahead and fill it up tomorrow <coughs> But yeah, it was pretty easy. Uh, let's see, what time did I get out of there? I got out of there at like noon, I think it was. Yeah, it was right about noon when I got out of the uh, watermelon farm. So they weren't nearly as fast as the other place down in um, Dunellen, but they weren't slow at all. I think um, it took them maybe an hour. So it wasn't too bad. But I'm going to go edit this video, get me something to eat, because last night on the way home, I stopped and bought me a turkey sandwich to take for my lunch today, and my dumb ass left it in the refrigerator. <sighs> Just one of those things that happens, I guess. But I'm going to go eat and edit this video, and uh, be going to bed early tonight. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already.